Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous Wednesday. Today I have a review on the Givenchy Antigona Small. I will be doing a quick overview of the item, pros, cons, uh, thoughts, mod shots, recommendations, you name it. I will go in depth on this bag. Uh, so I do have my notes in front of me because I want to make sure that I give you guys as much information as possible. So if I keep looking down, you know why. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Before I forget, the measurements on this beautiful bag are 11 inches in length, it is 9 inches in height, and approximately 7 inches in depth at the very bottom. Uh, this bag also has a 4 inch handle drop. This also comes with a detachable shoulder strap. Now the shoulder strap uh, is 32 inches from tip to tip, but when you add this to the bag, uh, you have a 13 and a half drop from the top of the strap to the top of the bag. Uh, Alright, so this is the small size, I don't know if I mentioned that at the very beginning. It is available in three different sizes, the mini, the small, and then you have uh, the medium that's a little bit larger than this. This one currently retails for $22.90 here in the States, and this weighs in with the strap at 2 pounds, 3.2 ounces. I always like to add the weight on my uh, reviews just in case you can get an idea of, uh, of the bag plus your, you know, whatever goodies you're going to add inside. Uh, now this is the black sugar or the goat skin uh, leather. Uh, it's also available in the shiny leather. Uh, now the goat skin has a little bit of the pebbling and the shiny doesn't because it's calf skin. Um, and what else? All right, so there is the front of the bag. It just has a little triangular shape that says Givenchy at the very top. There's no other pockets on the front. You have the two rolled handles there is a side view of it you have a little bit of a strap going on here for um, added reinforcement when you do add the shoulder strap and I will talk about that in just a second you have a leather pull tab and a very chunky zipper that features the silver hardware uh, on the back side, you have no other pockets, another side view and then on the bottom you do have feet but they don't have the metallic studs or you don't have the metal studs or anything like that. They're kind of uh, another leather part to the to the bag that gives you the feet. So you don't have to hear the clunking of the, of the metal. Uh, all right, so that does it for the exterior. Now on the interior, it's a little bit hard to see because you do have <laughs> the black interior. So, you know, it's not even, <laughs> I can't even really show you guys. Uh, but you have a total of uh, two slip pockets on one side. You have a zippered pocket on the other even if I try to open it <laughs> as much as I could, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Uh, but yes, those are the details of this beautiful bag. Now on to the pros. The first pro that I'd have to say is the design. I am in love with the silhouette that this bag has. I feel that it's very chic, but it also has a type of edginess to it. It doesn't have a whole bunch of bells and whistles, which is what I think I appreciate about it the most, uh, you know, because you have just those simple lines and then you just have, I feel that this bag kind of speaks volumes on its own. You know what I mean? I don't have to have a bunch of logos everywhere. Uh, so the silhouette that it has, I'm a big fan of. Another pro that I'd have to say is the durability and the quality of the leather. I really didn't know what to expect when it came to Givenchy. I don't have any other small leather goods, so I didn't know how it was how it was going to wear. Uh, and uh, I know that a lot of people are, you know, go back and forth with the sugar and the shiny. It's all a matter of personal preference. Uh, for me, I decided to go for the sugar or the goat skin because it also has the pebbling. I felt that it would make uh, the wear and tear a little bit um, it might hide the wear and tear a little bit better, but both leathers are very durable from, you know, multiple research that I have done. Uh, but I really like uh, the pebbling. That's something that I always look for when it comes to handbags. I don't know what it is. I think I just like the little ripples that it has or the detail that the pebbling gives it. And, um, you know, I was caught in the rain a few times with this bag. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any water stains or anything like that. I just ended up wiping off the excess and it looks like it's brand new. I also uh, was leaning up again. We were out in a about, I was leaning up against a brick building. My mom's always telling me not to lean on things. <laughs> I was leaning up against a brick building and when I went to move, I, I knew this bag ended up hitting the building. I for sure thought, oh man, I scratched this bag. I damaged it. I know it. I know it. I went to look down and yes, I had dirt residue from the, um, from the building but there were no scratches. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And I just wiped off the dirt and much to my surprise, it looked like nothing had, ha I mean, nothing had happened to it. It was right here. Do you guys see anything? I don't, and I don't condition my bags either. So I was just like, oh, okay. So again, the whole pebbling thin thing, I think kind of added to it. Um, another pro that I'd have to say is the fact that it has this beautiful structure. A lot of you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, even though I do like slouchy bags, I appreciate them. They're not necessarily for me because I always like, I always look for a structured bag. Um, 
I want a bag that I can sit down on a table, I can sit down on a chair and it won't just turn into a beautiful mess, I won't just kind of slouch around. And this one definitely offers that. Um, now I know that this bag has since been revamped I think two or three times. There have been people saying that in the past the goat skin um, kind of had, had a little bit of a slouch going on, uh, but I haven't experienced that thus far. Uh, I will be doing an updated wear and tear on this probably after I've owned it a year and I've used it more and more. Um, um, so that's something that I'm wondering how it'll end up, you know, how it'll end up being over time. Uh, but so far there has been no structure loss. I don't have any dents going on. It just looks like it has held up, I mean, incredibly well. And again, I think that just goes to show the type of quality leather that uh, Givenchy has. Like I mentioned, I didn't have any other small leather goods. And uh, it has held up very, I mean, it's held up a lot better than I had anticipated. So that makes me really, really happy. I'm very happy that I went with the pebbled leather versus the shiny leather. But in general, both uh, leathers are great, as I mentioned. Uh, another pro that I have to say, it's not really a pro, it's a favorite that I just wanted to point out. <laughs> but that is the zipper. I am a big fan of the zipper. And I think it's because the bag is so simple everywhere else. You know, it's almost, it's like, it's very sophisticated. And then you have this chunky, chunky zipper that just gives it a complete completely different contrast, you know, and I think I like that combination. Uh, and the zipper is very smooth. Uh, it's a little bit easier to, to use both hands to open it up. One handed, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, uh, but you open it up and you're able to close it up with ease, no problem. So it does have a very, um, a very smooth zipper. Another pro that I'd have to say is uh, the size. Like I mentioned, this is the small size. And I've said it before, just because a bag is small doesn't mean that you can only fit one or two things in there. Now, this kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Speedy. It has that same type of silhouette, like the Dr. Satchel type. And I can fit a ridiculous amount of items in here. I don't know what it is. I almost feel like I treat this bag like I do my Neverfull, my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I just start throwing everything in there, everything and the kitchen sink. I did a what's in my bag video and I and I felt like Mary Poppins. I felt like the video was never going to end because I kept pulling things out of this bag. Uh, now it does, you know, it does, it can make the bag heavy and I will talk about that in just a second. Uh, but I just like the size a lot better than the medium. I was kind of going back and forth with the medium uh, and you know, I was thinking, well, the medium, I can fit a little bit more. I can fit a little, bit, a little bit more. It would make it a little bit heavier because you have a little bit more leather. Uh, but I'm very happy that I went with, uh, with a small. Plus, I feel that it kind of, um, I feel that it complements my body frame a little bit better than the medium would. Uh, but yes, so <laughs> if the small size, if you're kind of worried, you can't really fit too much, trust me, you can fit an insane amount of items in here. <laughs> and I know I should stop like putting everything, I don't need to carry my whole house with me. And I feel like sometimes I do that, but um, yeah, the size is definitely uh, another pro. And the last pro that I wanted to discuss is the shoulder strap. Now this is also a con, uh, but what I like about the shoulder strap is that it adds versatility to the bag. It's not just a hand carry bag. It's not just a crook of your arm type of bag. If you needed to be hands-free for a moment or if you're running errands and you just don't want to carry a bag in your hand, you could just pop the shoulder strap on and you're good to go. So, it, I mean, the added versatility that the strap gives it, I think uh, is also another great feature about this bag. Now let's talk about the cons. As much as I love this bag, it definitely has quite a bit of cons. The first one being how heavy this bag can get. It weighs in at two pounds, three ounces without any items. Then when you start to add your items inside, it can make for a very heavy handbag, especially if you're like me, if you end up adding everything and the kitchen sink. I'm a pack rat, I've said this before, don't judge me. <laughs> uh, but I know I can stop adding so many things in here, but let's say you have uh, 10 essentials, your iPad, your agenda, and you have other items that you're fitting in here, you can really end up feeling the weight of this bag. So much so that when you're carrying it on the crook of your arm, you can see the rings that, uh, or the impression or the indentation that these beautiful handles will leave on your skin. Uh, you know, there's times that I just kind of take it off and I can see, I can see them as plain as day on here. You know, Robert's looked over and he's like, are you all right? Are you in pain? I'm like, oh no, it's just my handbag. And I even thought about taking a picture so I can include it in the video. For some reason, I didn't do that. I don't know why. I should have, uh, but that way you guys can see just how much, um, you know, how much it ends up digging into my uh, to my skin. So that is for sure the first con. Another con that I'd have to say about the bag. Remember how I mentioned that the shoulder strap is a pro. I think that the fact that this is not an adjustable shoulder strap uh, really 
makes it a con. Uh, and that's really, I feel that way because you can't really, I mean, if you're a little bit on the shorter side, if you're a little bit on the taller side, um, it's kind of like a one size fits all type of strap. And I felt that if they had included the detail of it being adjustable, it would have been a little bit more user friendly. Uh, that's why I feel that this strap for me is just a decorative uh, purpose. Um, and to be honest, I don't really, I really don't find a use for the strap unless it kind of gets me out of a jam where I need to be hands free or where I need to um, not have, you know, a bag in my hands, then that's great. But other times I just have it, you know, kind of on the, on the bag. I kind of attach it and I carry it like so. I like the fact that it kind of gives it that decorative purpose to it because I don't really find it to be very, very useful. It is comfortable on your on your shoulder and because it is flat, it doesn't roll off of your shoulder or anything like that. So I do like that as well. Uh, but it's not really, um, you know, it doesn't really add anything for me anyways. Um, so the fact that it's not adjustable, I think, is a con. Uh, but like I said, it's a pro and a con. It just depends on what you're looking for or how you're looking at it when it comes to this bag. Uh, another con that I'd have to say is these handles, again. <laughs> these handles do get in the way when you are going to retrieve your items. Uh, and that's really because, look at how close together they are in comparison to where the zipper is. They're, I mean, they're almost, I mean, they're, they're touching, right? They're touching. So when you go to open up the bag, you definitely have to deal with these, uh, these handles. And, uh, I do like the fact that it's easy to pick up the bag because they stay, they're stationary. They don't end up falling off to the sides. So I, I mean, I like that aspect, but at the same time, when I'm going to get my items out and I, for one, am known for using very, uh, big, you know, large rings. I'm always hitting my rings up on these uh, <laughs> on these handles, and usually when I go to retrieve my items, I have to kind of put the, this handle down or whichever handle it is with my wrist, kind of get it out of the way in order for me to get my item inside. Uh, so I thought I would mention that as well. It could be a little bit fussy. Uh, these are just details that I feel that are imperative when it comes to uh, to talking about this bag and whether or not you want to add it to your collection. Um, all right, so ha staying on the whole thing with the handles when you go to add the shoulder strap because the handles are in that same stationary position when you go to add the bag let me just show you guys really quickly so you have a little bit more of a demo um give me one second because the other con <laughs> i just i don't know it's, it's i feel so bad because this bag has the same like the same amount of pros and cons all right so when you go to add this bag it ends up hitting right underneath your arm here. And I'll show you guys that in the, in the mod shots. Uh, but it ends up hitting right here. So if you end up, if you end up having a, uh, like a bulky sweater, if you have a thick jacket, you're going to be able to feel these even more so right underneath your arm. So it can be a little bit, uh, uncomfortable. Uh, so I do like the handles. I think they're great again, because you're able to grab them very easily, but they do get in the way. Uh, another con that I'd have to say is this, um, the, the way that you add the shoulder strap to this bag, it is so insanely fussy and, uh, I get why Givenchy did it when I, I when I bought it. I was talking to the sales associate there and uh, he said that the reason why they ended up adding these grooves, they have uh, this same groove that you see here is also on the uh, on this buckle here. So they don't really have a type of uh, D-ring or a type of buckle that you add on kind of like a Louis Vuitton. You just have a little bit of an indentation there. They wanted it so it was an inconspicuous way of adding uh, a shoulder strap. They wanted it to look like part of the, of the design of the bag. The only problem with that is when you go to add this, um, this little guy here, when you go to add it on here, it is time consuming. Okay. It might be a few seconds, whatever it is, but I feel that it's very tedious because you only have one specific spot where you can add, let me turn this around so you guys can see it. You have one specific spot here that you can add this little groove here. So you have to line it up almost perfectly. You have to literally take the time to hold the bag, to add the strap on in order to hook it in. Um, and it doesn't end up, uh, falling off. I know that previous, uh, versions of it, when you would go to add this on, sometimes it would come off because it was a little bit too loose. So they fix that, but it makes it a little bit kind of like, okay, I have to concentrate, put the hook in and then you're good to go. So it's not like you're out and about and you're in a hurry and you want to add the, 
the strap, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Again, it might be something so small, but that's the main reason why I feel that I also leave this uh, the strap as a decoration. I feel like I don't even want to bother with putting this, you know, taking it off or putting it on whenever I'm out and about. When I do go to store it, I take the strap off and I just hide the strap inside. But uh, like I said, I love the bag, but those cons are something that I feel uh, <laughs> had to be addressed. Now for my final thoughts on this bag, as I mentioned, it has quite a bit of cons, uh, but for me, the pros definitely outweigh the cons for my lifestyle and ends up working out. And uh, I like it so much that I want to add another, uh, another one of these to my collection. I keep eyeing the red one. We all know how I feel about red bags, but you know, it just, it seems like it's the perfect shade of red. And then you have the pebbling. I just think it adds to the beauty of the bag. Uh, but uh, I was kind of disappointed on the, uh, on the lining of this bag. This might be something that is again, so small but these are just my two cents I feel that the exterior of this bag just speaks volumes again because of the simplicity that I said and just the quality of the leather but then when you go into the interior of the bag it has uh, the cloth lining and the cloth lining doesn't seem to really fit with the overall look of the bag um, the lining is a little bit loose. It doesn't really complement the bag. And again, I'm sure some of you might be thinking, I couldn't care less what the interior looks like. But for me, I want the exterior and the interior to be both fabulous, you know? Uh, but it just doesn't seem like it would, it just seems like it's just black cloth material with a few, uh, with a zippered pocket and two slip pockets, nothing really special, nothing else going on with the bag. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that really quickly. Uh, it would have been nice if it would have been maybe a little bit more fitted for the bag so that you didn't have so much excess uh, material. Uh, and I also wanted to say that if you end up going for a darker color, just be careful if you end up having a lot of dark colored small leather goods. Uh, sometimes I end up carrying my, uh, my, uh, my black caviar uh, pieces from Chanel in here. And then when you have that black interior, it is very difficult to find everything. You're kind of like, I'm kind of going all over the place trying to find the item. And because all of those items look very similar, <laughs> it takes me a little bit longer. So if you end up going for a darker color, um, you might end up having, or if you go for the black, you'll have a little bit of a harder time if you have dark, small leather goods. Some of the darker bags now have the lighter lining, which I really like, which makes it even easier to find the items or to retrieve your items very quickly. But that's just something else uh, to note. Uh, but I still like this bag and even with this strap being just a decorative purpose for me, I, I don't know, I feel like it kind of adds to the overall edginess of the bag or the overall chicness. Um, so um, I know that some people might prefer to use this solely as a shoulder strap type of bag, but for me I just like the decorative, uh, <laughs> the decorative aspect of this, uh, of this strap. I also wanted to mention that uh, the zipper is very smooth. It doesn't end up scratching my hand when I go to retrieve my items. And uh, it kind of caught me off guard because I thought that it would be such a chunky zipper. It's already pretty big. I felt that it was going to for sure end up scratching my hands or scratching my small leather goods when I go to take them out. And I haven't had any problems. Uh, it almost feels like it's not even hardware how soft uh, the metal feels. So I haven't had any problems with it scratching my hand or anything like that. So I thought that I would also mention that. So do I recommend this bag? Absolutely I do. I feel that if you're venturing into a different, if you want to venture into a different fashion house, I feel that the Givenchy Antigona adds uh, a lot of variety to a collection at any point in time. And I feel that it also has a very friendly price point for the type of leather and the type of durability that you're going to get when it comes to this bag. Uh, and um, I feel that if you're okay with the way that the strap is, if it doesn't end up digging into your shoulders or anything like that, this can also make for a really great work bag. Just because it doesn't have a bunch of logos everywhere, uh, you know, and it's just a black bag that has just phenomenal leather. And um, if you are looking to, if you're kind of indecisive between the sugar or the shiny, I feel that if you want something a little bit more chic, if you want something a little bit more luxurious, go for the shiny. I feel that it kind of adds a little bit more to the bag, whereas the sugar, um, it's a little bit more casual, it's a little bit more hard wearing, but both leathers are fantastic. I have read 
uh, so many I have done so much so much research on them and there's people that have both of them and they said that they look as good as the first day that they got the bags whether you go for shiny or for the sugar so it's all a matter of personal preference but I absolutely love this bag uh, all right you guys so that does it for my review I hope I was able to help I was trying to give as much information as possible and hopefully the mod shots ended up helping out as well uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and you would like to please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And I will see you guys later this week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.